Hey guys, it's Monday and it's also Memorial Day. I woke up at my friend's house because I went out last night and, you know, no drinking and driving, so passed out at my friend's house. We passed out at 5 in the morning. I haven't done that in years, um, but I had a really, really amazing time. Can we just say wet t-shirt contest at the bar that I was at? Had I known about it, I might have actually attempted to participate. Anyways, it was a wet t-shirt contest and it was kind of really hot. So, okay, what I wanted to do is I wanted to answer um, some questions that somebody had emailed. I think they emailed. Um, and it was directed to me specifically. I, now that I think back about it, I'm pretty sure that I knew a long time ago, you know, like kindergarten, first grade, I was holding my best friend's hand. Um, there was this one, one friend that I had, her name, her first name was Erica, and we were in like first or second grade together, and she had this really pretty, like long, dark, curly hair, and her mom would always put it in, in a braid, and I, I think I told her one day, I was like, I, your, your hair is so pretty when your mom puts it in a French braid. And so she would start, she started coming to school with like French braid every day and it was amazing. Maybe she did it for me or I don't know, but when I actually really knew that I was gay and I came to terms with it was when I was 15 years old and I went to the, the video store, the video, VHS, and I rented Foxfire, not realizing what type of movie it was. And I fell in love with Angelina Jolie and I was like, oh my god, this is exactly why I, my relationships with my boyfriends are not working out because I'm totally gay. And nobody had ever really discussed what being gay was to me my whole life. And so finally I was like, wow, this answers so many questions that I have about myself because I thought I was asexual for a while. And there's a certain part of me that still believes that I'm kind of maybe on that spectrum because it takes takes a lot for me to be fully vested in someone. But I find I find plenty of people attractive. That's completely off topic and I'm digressing. I was 16 and my mom actually told me about it. What happened was I was going out with a friend and we went to this place in Long Beach called The Library, which is a gay coffee shop. And when you're underage, that's like the cool place to go. At least it was 10 years ago. One day I was walking out of the house and I had on a rainbow belt. And she stopped me and she was like, hey, um, she's like, before you go, I just have a quick question. And I was like, okay, yeah, what's up? She goes, you know, when I was your age, the kids that wore rainbow clothes um, were usually the ones that were gay. And I just kind of laughed and she was like, so you don't have to answer me, but I just want you to know that, that it'll be, it's okay. Um, and she asked if I was gay and, and I said, yes. And she gave me a hug and she was like, okay, that's all I wanted to know. And she was like, have a good time tonight. And I went out and that was it. So the parents took it really well. Uh, they still to this day are very, very supportive. I got very, very lucky to have supportive parents. And the last question which kind of makes me blush a little bit. Uh, the last question that they asked is, am I, am I single? And to that, my answer that I'm going to give is, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> do you hate me? So I'm, I'm also, what I wanted to do is I wanted to, the Beaver Bunch is we are releasing our own cafe press um, items, so sweatshirts, t-shirts, baseball shirts, whatever, you name it, we've, we're doing it. We are also going to be donating the money. Each of us has chosen an organization, so my organization is going to be Mama's Kitchen, which is an organization here in San Diego, and they, uh, they deliver food to people that are terminally ill. Um, and I used to I used to deliver for them and the clients are fantastic. So that would be my organization and I'll put a link somewhere um, Also, Michelle is going to be putting up some more information on the Beaver Bunch channel the main channel uh, regarding all of our cafe press stuff uh, Mariah is the girl that's in the woman that's in charge of it and 
you should check out her uh, YouTube channel as well. Okay, so I think I covered all my bases. With that, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it. I'm done, and uh, I'm gonna go out on a date. Bye, guys.